Hey Hoopheads, Brad here with another breakdown and today I want to talk about the Raptors 105-92 win over the Pistons. The Raptors were led in this one by Pascal Siakam who had 30 points on 12 of 18 shooting and the Raptors defense held Detroit to just 35% from the field for the game. Let's get into it. On this play, as Derrick Rose gets the ball, check out how Pascal slides over into help position. And then as Snell gets the ball and attacks, OG is going to slide over and switch on to him. Then Pascal slides over to OG's man. A really nice seamless switch. Thonmaker tries to put it on the floor. Pascal is able to contain him, plus OG with the help defense. The Raptors get their stop, and then Pascal just takes it coast to coast. A beautiful finish at the end, just discarding Tony Snell. And now on this play, Pascal Siakam is going to get switched on to Derrick Rose. And as Andre Drummond comes up at the screen, Rose is going to drive to the right. Serge is there with the help defense, but I want to look at the placement of the other Raptors. You've got Lowry cutting off the pass to Maker under the basket. You've got OG cutting off the pass to Andre Drummond. Plus you've got Fred over here lurking in the passing lane to Svi Mikhailuk. The only real outlet for Rose is Tony Snell. OG knows that, so as Rose elevates, OG moves towards Tony Snell, able to deflect the pass out of bounds. And on this play, the Raptors are in a zone, but something they'll do every once in a while is while they're in their zone, they'll start to pressure like they're in man-to-man. -man. You can see Fred with a bit of ball denial making Mikhailuk catch it close to the half-court marker. And then as Maker comes up on the strong side, you can see OG really getting up on him. And then once the Pistons start to get a little more movement in their offense, you see the Raptors moving back into a much more classic conservative zone style. The Pistons will get it to Drummond at the free throw line and he turns, tries to go at Surge, but not great off the dribble, not a great shot. And that's good tricky defense by the Raptors. Here the Pistons work it around a little until Andre Drummond eventually comes up and sets the screen for Reggie Jackson. As Pascal gets screened off, Lowry and Siakam switch and then Jackson picks up his dribble. He's in trouble and as he pivots he just is a little bit too relaxed and Lowry's able to poke the ball away from behind. Recovered by Norm out off the Pistons, nice pressure. And now on the fast break, all the Raptors getting back in transition making the pass over the top to Drummond difficult. When he catches it, Lowry and Serge really invade his space so that he can't move towards the basket at all. He has to kick it out and then Siakam with the great hands to deflect it out of bounds. And this is a great play to watch how a zone shifts as the ball moves. As the ball goes to the right wing, check out the way McCaw shifts over to the middle of the court, drops down to Drummond to try to cut off that passing angle. Siakam and Lowry both pressure up on the strong side while Serge stays in help position and Norm is in secondary help position. Then as the ball goes back to the top, there's five seconds left on the shot clock and the Raptors almost switch to like a man-to-man -man coverage here. And then as Drummond comes up to set the screen, Serge comes up to the three-point line so that he's ready to contest a three. And now let's check out the zone movement again, check out the original positions of all the guys. And as the man in Norm's area leaves, he's now a free agent and the other side of the court is overloaded with three guys and only two defenders. So when Morris cuts up to the free throw line, it's Norm who goes to cover him. And now you see McCaw dropping down to where Norm was in the zone. Siakam comes down with the double, but Morris has a quick pass out. So Norm has to go out, run Reggie Jackson off the line. He gets into the lane and Chris Boucher is there on the back line with the huge block. Such a nice luxury to have him as your third string center. And now off the sideline inbound, the Pistons completely clear out the left side of the court. That creates a driving lane for Jackson on the left side, but Chris Boucher is watching the play develop. He comes down from the free throw line with a great challenge, saving an easy bucket for the team there. And now in transition, Fred Van Vliet finds himself on Christian Wood. Wood posts him up. Chris Boucher comes over with the double, which actually turns into a switch, really clever. The Raptors are swarming, making passes difficult. He kicks it back out to the top, and then Jackson tries to throw a tough pass through the zone. Nice pressure by the Raps. And on this play, Langston Galloway runs off a double screen, and while that's happening, Bruce Brown is gonna try to cut back door on Fred Van Vliet. Luckily, Fred always alert, active hands, able to poke it away. OG's the first one to the floor, and Norm eventually scoops it up. That's gonna be a turnover. And now the Raptors in a zone, and as the Pistons overload the weak side, check out the Raptors defenders. Everybody kind of matches up and goes with a guy, but then they still stay in a zone. They're just in a new placement within the zone. Then as the ball goes to Jackson, Fred drops down to cut off the pass to the free throw line. The ball goes back out to the top. Now Fred is staying at the free throw line because he knows the pass wants to go there because that's the most common way to attack a zone. Then as Jackson finally drives it to the free throw line himself, Fred steps up to him while Boucher moves to Christian Wood under the basket and Norm rotates onto Langston Galloway who's gonna move up to the elbow. The Pistons get it to Wood under the basket but he dribbles it off his own foot. Great pressure from the Raptors throwing some tough looks at the Pistons. And now as Bruce Brown tries to push it in transition, check out Terrence Davis getting back and getting up for the huge block. His athleticism was on full display on defense. He ended up getting called for a foul as they recovered the ball, but great work to stop that initial fast break. 
And now in semi-transition as Derrick Rose gets the ball, check out how empty this side of the court is. Norman Powell guarding Langston Galloway over here. Can see it, he rotates all the way to the other side of the lane for the huge block. Great anticipation, great verticality. And now OG Ananobi goes for the pump fake, but luckily the other Raptors are in good help position. Siakam switches out onto Tony Snell, and as he pressures up on him, check out OG pressuring up on Derrick Rose as well to try and deny that pass and make Tony Snell make a play against Pascal Siakam. Beautiful ball pressure. Pascal gets out to the shooter, blocks the shot, and as the Pistons recover it, they're out of bounds. Excellent pressure by the Raptors. This is a man-to-man -man possession for the Raptors as they're pressuring. Eventually, it's going to get handed off to Mikhailuk. Siakam and Lowry switch, and then as Mikhailuk attacks, check out the way Lowry is in perfect position to switch back onto him seamlessly. Toronto deflects it out of bounds, and then on the ensuing inbound, the ball goes to Tony Snell. He gets up for a three-pointer, but OG with the great closeout. Fred on the rebound, looking for him in transition, and OG slams it home. And now on this one, Rose is going to dribble down to the elbow, and that sets the Pistons up for a double screen. And as Rose comes off it, check out the way Serge and Siakam wall off the middle so that Rose can't throw the bounce pass through there. Siakam pressuring, almost gets the steal. And then as the ball goes to Drummond, Serge makes him catch it outside of his comfort zone. Drummond faces up, that doesn't go anywhere. With the shot clock running down, he kicks it to the opposite wing. Lowry pressuring Mikhailuk, he's able to poke the ball away. And by the time Tony Snell grabs it, that's going to be a 24 second violation. The Raptors giving the Pistons everything they can handle. And now as Derrick Rose gets the ball on the right side, OG and Siakam are going to switch. Siakam does a really great job of getting low, moving his feet, containing him. OG with the help closes off the baseline, Rose picks up his dribble, he kicks it to Drummond and gets it back, Siakam still pressuring, this time it's Serge and OG both with the baseline help, Lowry's able to deflect the pass out of bounds with barely any time on the shot clock, incredible pressure. And then on this one, Terrence Davis right up on Reggie Jackson to start the play. The Pistons will eventually get it to Drummond at the elbow, but Drummond is pretty useless on the perimeter, he tries to take Serge off the dribble, completely loses it. Jackson scoops it up with two seconds on the shot clock and has to just fire a blind shot. And you can see the pressure of the Raptors really getting to the Pistons. And on this play, after Brown gives the ball to Christian Wood, he's going to come over like he's setting a screen for Langston Galloway, but then he's going to slip it and dive to the basket. Look how wide open he is right here. Luckily for the Raptors, Chris Boucher with the active hands able to deflect the pass over the top out of bounds. And then off the ensuing inbound, the Pistons get it out to the top and they try to run a screen and roll with Reggie Jackson and Christian Wood, but as Jackson comes off of it, Norm on the weak side is watching. He rotates over and disrupts the pass. Great awareness to break that play up. And then the Pistons are going to try to go to Markeith Morris with Patrick McCaw on him in the post, but as they do, Chris Boucher is lurking on the weak side. And as soon as Marcus Morris turns his head away from Boucher, he rotates over, gets up for the Bloc Québécois, Great help defense, great rim protection once again. A bit of a scramble for the rebound, but the Raptors are able to track it down. And then on this one, it's Christian Wood with Terrence Davis on him in the post. This time, no help needed. Terrence Davis will take care of things himself. Great work. He has great hops, uses all of them to meet him at the summit. And on this one, as Derrick Rose is waiting for the play to develop, he exposes the ball and Fred just absolutely pounces on it, snatches it. That's just a lack of respect for Fred's defensive mastery. And on this play, as Morris comes over to set a screen on the ball, Langston Galloway is going to set a screen for Morris first. And then as the on-ball screen is happening, Galloway is going to cut to the opposite corner while Norm has to stay up to contain Derrick Rose. As Norm steps up to Rose, Fred keeps his momentum going, goes all the way to the corner to Langston Galloway. He runs him off the line, then Boucher with the help defense. The Pistons have to go back out to the top. And then as Brown tries to make a move, Chris Boucher with the great shot contest on the interior, Great rotations, great help by the Raptors. And now the Pistons work it around a little bit until they eventually get it to Andre Drummond about 15 feet from the basket. He faces up against Chris Boucher and tries to take him off the dribble. Once again, that's going to result in losing the ball. And now one more defensive play as Derrick Rose comes off the Andre Drummond screen. Chris Boucher steps up to him with another block. He was credited for three on the game. And then on the offensive end, Norman Powell curls off the screen, throws it home over Andre Drummond. That's going to be the ball game. The Raptors get their 10th straight win. They go to 35 and 14 on the season. And Nick Nurse will be coaching Team Giannis in the All Star game. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of the Raptors defense in the comments.